Dr. Orton, you've got some more foods there that you think, right. well, you know, and this is we're no moving on. And we, uh, we all have sure. to admit, from one, <laughs> one, at one time or another, we found these little dessert <laughs> treats to be pretty tasty, right? At one right? time or another? <laughs> now? Well, not, big well, on not today. Well, these I haven't in years. Cookies, maybe I, no. I have had. But we put them to the test, and these quote-unquote cream-filled desserts don't have any cream in them at all. Mm -mm. Do you know what, what that cream is? The well, creamy filling? This is going to turn you off. Oh. Lard. Ooh. Ooh is right. And beef fat. Oh. This, this is what's processed, that white beef fat. These two, sorry to put them in front of you, Lisa. That's but, okay. <laughs> but, the, but this is what they're using instead of cream, and uh, that'll make you think twice before you have these oh, kind of desserts man. again. You know, I have a lot of parents ask me, you know, about all the, the BPA, the dyes, and the other additives and preservatives, and, you know, they're actually, what do I need to avoid? And, you know, it seems like each one of these things has probably a small effect, but when you add it all together... Uh -huh has one big major effect. And I think that's a big reason why uh, a lot of illnesses are on the rise. Autism, behavior problems, allergies, asthma. And you know, you can minimize your exposure by just eating more food that you grow mm -hmm. or that you catch instead of the ones that are manufactured. And Dr. Orden, well, why you, do you have benzoyl peroxide Well, out there? you've heard me talk about using it for pimples, right? It's yes. a known benzoyl peroxide. We use it, I recommend it for acne treatment well. Do you want it in your white bread? <laughs> they actually, they do put benzoyl peroxide in white bread to make it more white. Oh. So the point is, lots of things in, in our foods, but the last one, and, and this may shock you, but what if I said that there's considered a safe amount of insect parts in your foods as well as quote unquote rodent parts? One cup of pasta oh. is allowed to contain more than 200 insect parts. Some people estimate we eat a pound a year of insects. Adds a little flavor. I, I have to tell you, this to me is shocking, but this doesn't scare me. Mm -hmm. Lisa, I was say, when you grow food, you're yeah. going to get bugs that's on right. food, especially if you're that. trying to avoid pesticides mm -hmm. and things like that. So, and that's why I actually you know. think I would rather have some insect parts in my food. What really scares me is insecticides yes. and pesticides. You hit on this before, pregnant women who are exposed mm -hmm. to these things. In emergency medicine, when I went through my training, one of the first things I learned is how toxic pesticides and insecticides can be if you're exposed. And when people come in after exposure to these things, these are truly toxic. And over time, if you're overly exposed to these, who knows what it can be doing? Because there are dirty dozen, the dirty dozen, berries, for instance, things, potatoes. Things thin skins, you mm -hmm. know they tend to have more of these residual pesticides on them. We'll have a list on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Those are the ones I always buy organic. There are others that, you know, conventional versus organic may not be as big of a deal. Well, there's avocados. You know, that's not as important. But here's the last bit of takeaway that I think everyone can use the next time they go to the store. Number one, the more natural the ingredient that you're buying, or whatever the food may be, the less likely it is to have either cancer-causing substances, insecticides, all these other things, food coloring. So remember these tricks. Look at the ingredients. The first five ingredients, obviously those are the main ingredients in the product you're buying. If you see os at the end of a word, that's usually code for a sugar or a sweetener. Like sucrose, mannitose, mm -hmm. right. things like that. Fructose. Fructose. Monosodium glutamate. That's MSG. MSG, just say no. And enriched, you know what that means? That means the product lost nutrients in processing. They took out all the good stuff, then they enriched it by putting some back in. But enriched does not mean healthy. And, and you have to go back to, I mean, the FDA and, and food manufacturers, it's, it's not all bad. People are working to make things better. And we don't have to be scared every time we go to the grocery store. We just have to be smart.